Hi guys, today we're going to be replacing a crankshaft sensor. Before we go and do the job, let's just take one minute to have a look at crankshaft sensors. This is a magnetic inducted sensor, which is one of the most commonly used sensors on modern vehicles. Who cares? You should care, because if you understand how something works, it makes it a lot easier to diagnose problems in the future. This kind of magnetic inductive sensor is very common on modern vehicles. They're used for crankshaft sensors, camshaft sensors and ABS sensors. Let's have a look at how they're constructed and how they work. Let's look at the numbered items in turn. Number one is a soft iron core. This butts up against number two which is a permanent magnet. The electromagnetic flux generated by this permanent magnet travels along the soft iron core towards the target area which in our diagram is towards the left of the screen. Number three is a copper winding. Number four is the electrical connector. Number five is the mounting flange. And number six is the O-ring, which prevents oil leaking past the sensor. When a ferrous metal object moves towards and away from the end of the soft iron core in the target area, the electromagnetic flux also moves towards and away from the soft iron core. This flux travels across the copper winding and generates a very small AC voltage. I can demonstrate this now with a multimeter. And as you can see, with a knife which is ferrous, if you move it close to the end of the sensor, you get an AC voltage. So if you just look at the display of the multimeter, hopefully you'll be able to see there's an AC voltage there. When fitted to the vehicle, the sensor sits very close to the reluctor, which in this example is fitted to the crankshaft. As the crankshaft rotates, the edges of the teeth, and therefore the flux, moves towards and away from the sensor crossing the copper coil and generating a sinusoidal AC voltage, which in this diagram is displayed on an oscilloscope. If you imagine that this salad spinner is the ferromagnetic tooth reluctor on your crankshaft, then the sensor is positioned extremely close to the teeth on the reluctor. At the moment we've got a reading of zero volts, and then as the engine starts to spin, it generates an AC voltage. The ECM uses this voltage to work out the RPM and also the position of the crankshaft. On most reluctors, there's a tooth missing as well. So as it turns, the missing tooth is also detected by the ECM and that helps it with its calculations. You can test the coil within a crankshaft sensor by measuring the resistance. This one is a Bosch and it should be 900 ohms and measuring it we have 917 ohms so yeah it's quite accurate. You can use this as a test on the vehicle as well you can check the resistance of the sensor that's fitted to your vehicle and that might show up a problem. However bear in mind that sometimes problems only occur at different temperatures so if your engine is cold and you tested it you might not see a problem that could occur when the engine is hot or vice versa. I do hope this video has been of some use to you. If so please subscribe. Until next time Cheerio! Don't forget, love life.